If you could only trade one setup, it should be the high tight flag. You're going to make so much money you don't even know what to do. This is how stocks move. They look like stairs. You have a step higher, sideways, step higher, sideways. Your job is to buy at the exact moment that the next step higher is forming. I'm telling you, success in trading is all about being taking losses. If you can't handle taking losses sometimes twice or three times, you're not going to make it pretty much. You're going to take losses and you have to act like it didn't happen. You need to study thousands of stocks going back decades. Stocks move the same way today as they did a hundred years ago. The best traders take the best losses. Get used to losing. Everybody when they wake up in the morning should repeat 10 and 20, 10 and 20, 10 and 20. You're going to outperform 99% of market participants, year in year out. You're going to outperform all these guys using Boomerberg terminals. And what not 10 and 20 am I on the daily is where the money is. Most traders trade on their, others' opinion and feelings. Very few bother to actually find a setup that is part of the market structure that occurs over and over again. And even if they have a setup they lack the understanding under which market conditions that setup works. Aim for 10, 50x risk multiples. If you need a 60% win rate your setups suck. You can't trade blind. You need rules. If you want to make millions, you need rules. A couple of weeks or months of consolidation is the sweet spot. No one knows anything. The market can do anything at any given time. Put your opinions aside and just trade the price action. The fewer things you worry about, the better your trading will be. The universe doesn't care that you got stopped out. Just because a stock went up doesn't mean it had a good setup. A lot of stocks go up without showing good setups. The stock doesn't care that you got frustrated with it. To deal with drawdowns of 30%, you put your hand down your pants and squeeze your balls. That's how you deal with it. Our job as traders is to make money, pay taxes, and then contribute to society. That's it. If you're getting confused with intraday charts, just use the daily chart. It doesn't matter if the stock goes up after you buy it. You need to buy a solid setup. You can't chase. If you want to make it in this, you need to have very specific entries and very specific setups. All you have to do is follow your setups and rules. There's always someone doing something else. It's all about supply and demand. Our job is to trade that supply and demand. Focus on quality setups. If you trade random setups, your results are going to be random too. Every stock is going to stop you out sooner or later. It's when things pull back where we see which stocks are strong and which are not. The market gives you clues all the time. It's all about listening. It's all about patience. No matter how high you think a stock can go, it can go higher. That's why I always trail some. I have no problem rebuying stocks, but only if it sets up again. It doesn't matter how much you hate the company, if there's a good setup on it, if there's a 5-star setup, you have to buy. If you don't know how stocks are supposed to move in certain scenarios, no indicator is going to help you. Understand the nuances of the setups. Understand when it works and when it doesn't work, when you should be aggressive, and when you should be defensive. It takes years to get good at it. It's not about one or two trades. It's about making hundreds and thousands of trades. It's about consistency. I want to hold stocks for as long as possible. I really don't want to sell them until I have to. The best time to trade the breakout method is after a pullback in the market. You want to see which stock held up the most. It's all about small losses and big winners. Always think in percentages. I think that's a very useful exercise that may take your trading to the next level. Don't start randomly picking tops wait for weakness. Trade stocks that have volume and range. That's where the money is. 
Trading mastery is not easy but it is very simple. You have to spend thousands of hours if you want to master this. In order to build confidence in a setup you have to go back through the past 100 years and see how stocks moved. There is no other way. The best setups, the ones that make the biggest moves are very clean in the way they act. It doesn't matter if you get shaken out due to an algo or not, you should always obey your stops. If you get the big stuff right, you don't have to worry about the little stuff. You want to get into stocks that show relative strength. If I get stopped out, I get stopped out. I don't think, I just get out. If it's a good setup, you have to get back in, even if that means you have to buy it higher. The big moves take weeks and months to play out. When you let the price action dictate, you don't have to think. You need the strongest stocks. You don't have an edge trading random stocks. It has to be a momentum leader. Tune out all the media. Tune out all the news. They're not going to help you at all. Earnings are fuel. You need fuel and a reason for something to go up. Stocks don't go up because of a pattern. You have to adapt. What has worked a couple of weeks, months, and years ago may not work in the next couple of weeks, months, and years every year. There are incredible opportunities to make money. Every year, there are incredible opportunities to make money. Trading is hard, but it's simple. You just have to learn the patterns and listen to the market. I only use hard stops when the price is close to my stop area. You can get trading ideas or trading concepts from a book, but the only way you learn is from yourself, from the pain of doing the wrong thing. When the market is in a big uptrend, the down days are when the big money is made. It's never a discipline problem, it's a confidence problem because you haven't put in enough effort. If you study enough examples of a certain setup, you'll build confidence. It's fine to sit in cash for months. Patience will make you millions. Study four or five different setups. Then, you only need to master one to make tens of